Hi Philadelphia, my name is Lily, and I'm coming today to you because I need to talk to you. Um, if you're on the street, if you're addicted, if you lost your family, if you're broken hearted, if you're sick, if you're in pain, if you're suffering, I want you to know that God sent a lot of preachers to preach in your streets. He really did send them. They're not there just because they want to be there out of the blue, self-appointed. No, no. They sent God sent them. I know this because I had that revelation myself. And I didn't say anything out loud. And at the same time, my six-year-old was next to me. And as I was having that revelation, quietly in my mind, at the shopping center, my little six-year-old says, Mommy, I think that God wants us to preach in the streets of Philly. And we were in Philly in a supermarket. She told me at the same time that I was having the revelation. I was having the revelation. I was trying to ignore it. And, here, and, and I was quiet. And I wasn't saying anything. I felt the Holy Spirit. And I felt these thoughts flooding my head. Quietly. Never said a peep. And my little six-year-old come tell me, Mommy, I think God is telling us that we have to preach in the streets of Philly. Those preachers are sent by God. Okay, and they're sent by God for you because He loves you and He wants to help every single problem you have. They're sent to me. He can and He's able. You don't have to tell these preachers what your problem is. You don't have to tell them what you did. You don't have to tell them what's wrong if you don't want to. You just say, look, this, my, this is my name, and I have a private, unspoken prayer that God knows about, and I need you to pray on that. Please pray for me. How long did that take me to say? About three seconds, right? For every preacher that you say that to, and they say a prayer for you, I kid you not. A light, a beacon of light forms around them and shoots up to heaven. Okay? With your unspoken prayer request, which God already knows what it is. And you can pray as well. And remember, when you pray, you pray in Jesus' name so it gets to heaven. There was one time I was taking my kids to school and I was walking right behind them like I usually did. And um, I always prayed for them. I always prayed forgot to protect them and everything anyway um like weeks before i had asked god if i could see a prayer you know and i forgot about it and everything that particular day though about three weeks later i was walking behind them behind the kids taking them to school and i was praying for them in my mind you know as they had their little chit chatter in front of me out in my mind i was quietly praying for them and all of a sudden, I, fe I saw, I saw yellow, brilliant light around me, okay? And the sun was shining bright down upon us, but this light, I can still see that, 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 that surrounded me, okay? And it just went it just kept going up, you know? And I'm thinking, you know, what's going on? I'm about to pass out, I'm seeing things. You know, but at the same time, I, I kept praying so that I could finish my prayer. And I'm like, oh dear, why am I seeing this? You know, because I have forgotten about that prayer that I asked God for him to let me see a prayer. So, you know, I come and I say, in the name of Jesus Christ, amen, to finish my prayer. And then, boom, that's it. The light disappears. All right. And it went from the floor surrounding me. About the size, I'd say, about this, almost the size of, 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 of a room, of a regular, I don't know what you would think regular is, but it would be, it, it, I'd say it was about uh, maybe 15 feet all the way around me, going all the way up, okay? And it would just go zoom, 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 and it just, and then the, the more I prayed, the more came up, and it just kept joining the other lights until you know it, it was just like a beacon of light that formed around me going up you know 
And I said, in Jesus' name, amen. And then it stopped. Finished taking the kids to school. I came back wondering what was that. And if maybe, you know, I'm not feeling well or something. But I felt perfectly fine. I didn't feel anything. I note, though, that when I was praying and I was seeing the light, I did know that that light was full of electricity. And I felt the electricity around me. Praise the Lord. You know, and I'm going to tell you what. When I almost got to my house, that's when it hit me. Oh, snap. I just saw prayer. Can you imagine all those beacons of light? For every preacher you ask to pray for your unspoken private matter. Can you imagine all those warriors, all those beacons of light going up to God for your unspoken prayer? Listen to me. It's going to make a difference. It's going to fix your problem. There's your victory, okay? No more relapse, no more issues, no more pain, not like that, okay? Whatever you're struggling with, go to every creature you see. It'll take you three seconds. My name is so-and-so. I have an unspoken prayer. Please, God knows what it is. Pray for me. That's what you say. And then you leave if you want to, or you stay. And listen to the sermon. Okay, they're in, they're in all the corners and feeling Go. I'm right, I'm telling you. Remember me, okay? Remember me when you're down. Remember what I said when you're in pain. Remember what I said when you're crying. And you can't do this by yourself. And you realize that. And then you go to those preachers, okay? God bless you.